What's up YouTube, Saf here on Super Saf TV and we've got a slightly different product for an unboxing on the channel today. Inside here is the world's first crowd developed computer. What is it? Well, it's called the Eve V. You guys may have heard about it previously and it had a hugely successful Indiegogo campaign. We've got it here and we've also been sent some skins for it from our channel sponsor Dbrand so we'll be checking those out too. Now we've actually got two boxes, both are completely clean and black. I really like this. We've got the EV logo on both of them. Now quickly to get the small box out of the way, it's simply got some different adapters depending on which country you're gonna be using this in. And I believe we've also got some spare nibs for the stylus. Now let's get to the EV. You can see here at the bottom it says, developed by 1000 minds. And that is all of the people who have contributed towards uh, making this as mentioned earlier on, it is the first crowd developed computer. And on this side, it says Pyramid Flipper Volume 1. So this is the first version of it. Nothing on the other sides. And let's go ahead and get this open. Wow. So the first thing that you can see is names of everybody that has contributed. So we've got 1000 names on here. This computer was developed in an online community for one year. 1,000 tech enthusiasts collaborated together to create the first ever crowd developed computer. These are the great minds behind the EV, thank you. Really nice touch to actually name everybody that has contributed towards the development of the EV. And here it is. I gotta say that does look uh, really, really slick. We've got a metal build on here. I'm already, however, getting fingerprints on it, but we'll sort that out later, don't worry. So as you guys can probably tell by now, this is a tablet, but it's actually a two-in-one and it's a direct competitor to the Surface Pro 2. Just putting that to the side for a second while we see what else we get in the box. Presented very, very nicely, I have to say. So on the right-hand side here, we have the power brick as well as a USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable. And we also get the stylus. This, I assume, has some paperwork in it. Right, so we've got some details uh, about the keyboard and then a quick start guide here at the back as well. Finally, under here, we have the keyboard. So as mentioned earlier on, uh, this is a two-in-one. We've got uh, a fabric material on here, which, uh, so some unique things about this keyboard. Firstly, we've got an oops button instead of the backspace. And then we've got the Eve V logo here instead of the V. So let's go ahead and power this up. I'll talk you through the features and I'll give you my first impressions. A few moments later. So we've gone ahead and set this up and that was really straightforward. We've got Windows 10 running on here and it's a bloat free version of Windows. Eve are very keen on emphasizing that fact that you're not gonna be getting any bloatware on here. It is gonna be completely clean. And taking a look at the Eve V itself, firstly the display. It's a 12.3 inch LCD display, which has a resolution of 2880 by 1920. Individually calibrated by Sharp and it uses IGZO or IGZO, depending on where you're from, technology, and that's gonna give it low power consumption. There's also a two megapixel front-facing camera on here. Now, one of the key things about EV is the amount of ports that it has. That's something that the community wanted and Eve have delivered here. We've got two full-size USB-A 3.0 ports, one on the right, one on the left, one USB-C 3.0 port, as well as one USB-C Thunderbolt 3 port. There's also a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, as well as a micro SD card reader. On the right-hand side, there's a volume rock and a power button. Now, the power button does have a built-in Windows Hello fingerprint scanner, so just to test that out quickly on here. There you go. We've also got a five megapixel camera at the back, which uh, I don't think I'll ever be using. And then the back kickstand pops out like this. And it's not so thick, around 8.9 millimeters. And apparently they made it a millimeter thicker to include a bigger battery, something else that came from the community. The battery size is 48 watts an hour and should give you around 10 to 12 hours of usage, according to Eve. Then we have the keyboard, which also has a built-in battery. And that's gonna snap on magnetically like that. Now you can use the keyboard independently if you like as well, or you can attach it on like this. And it is an RGB backlit keyboard, so you've got seven colors. 
In terms of the keyboard, I do like this uh, fabric material. It does add a lot more grip and the keys actually have a decent amount of travel. Do feel quite good. Now in terms of the weight, it's not the lightest two-in-one out there. It's around 925 grams for the EV and around 410 grams for the keyboard. But because of the premium metal build, I guess that's kind of expected. Now a downside of a metal build, as mentioned earlier on, is that you are gonna be getting a few fingerprints on this. And one of the things that I tend to do as soon as I get a new laptop or tablet is apply a dbrand skin which is going to protect it from smudges and scratches and things so we've got a selection of four different skins here from dbrand we've got red we've got uh, marble we've got black dragon and we've got black carbon fiber i think i'm going to go with the black dragon so we've got two different pieces here uh, one for the top one for the bottom well that actually looks really good we've got uh, the black dragon at the top shall i put a different one here at the bottom let's do that i'm going to put the marble on the bottom. That's going to be quite interesting. Let's see how that looks. Head right for the corners. I don't actually use it for my beard, by the way. Smooth out the edges. That looks quite cool. We've got black dragon at the top and then we've got white marble at the bottom. I quite like that two-tone look. What do you guys think? And we've also got a piece for the trackpad. I'm going to get carbon fiber here on the trackpad. This is going to be so dope. Wow, that carbon fiber trackpad now does look and feel really, really dope and it works absolutely fine. If you guys do want to pick up some skins for your EV or another device, then I'm going to be leaving the brand linked in the description below. Now, in terms of the different configurations and pricing, I have the Intel Core i7 7Y75 processor with 16 gigabytes of LP DDR3 RAM and 512 gigabytes of PCIe SSD storage. And for that configuration, you're looking at around $1,600 or 1,649 euros. We also have a list of the different configurations as well as the pricing on this sheet here. So you can pause it and have a look. Remember the pen as well as the keyboard are included in this price. So there we have it guys. That is the EV, the world's first crowd developed computer. Now my first impressions, I have to say quite impressive, especially for the price uh, you are going to be paying quite a bit less for comparable models on the surface pro 2 so if you're in the market for a two-in-one and you want to save a bit of money then the ev seems like a very good option i'm going to be leaving some links in the description below if you're interested in picking one of these up what do you guys think of the ev drop me a comment below and let me know i hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful if you did then please do hit that thumbs up button for me it really does help me out and if you haven't already then be sure to subscribe and switch on notifications we've got lots more content coming up on here Thanks for watching. This is Saf on Super Saf TV, and I'll see you next time.